ischemic strokes were about 87% of strokes, and that's a blocked blood vessel uh, that's keeping blood from going to a part of the brain. So that part of the brain stops working and starts, starts dying. Um, it's painless loss of function, classically anterior circulation strokes, so carotid, middle cerebral artery, results in the other side, hand and face not working. Uh, it's a, a medical emergency. Uh, people need urgent treatment for airway and breathing circulation, blood pressure control, and if they're eligible, receiving IV blood thinning medicine to dissolve the clot. A subset of those patients have what we call large vessel occlusion, and they benefit from emergency endovascular surgery, where we use a device that looks like this to go in through the arteries and suck the clot out. About 13% of strokes are hemorrhagic strokes. Of all strokes, 10% uh, are bleeding into the brain tissue and 3% are due to brain aneurysms. Bleeding the brain tissue is very painful, uh, sudden severe headache, and then loss of neurologic function, typically uh, a hand and face that doesn't work anymore. Blood pressure control is very important for the uh, intraparenchymal hemorrhages, the uh, hemorrhagic strokes that are due to bleeding the brain tissue, reversal of any coagulopathy, and then working up for any other structural cause. The 3% of strokes that are due to brain aneurysms cause subarachnoid hemorrhage, and that's classically the worst headache of your life. Uh, sudden severe headache, nausea, vomiting, one in three chance of dying, high risk of re-bleeding, high risk of blocked flow of spinal fluid, and then high risk of the vessel being irritated and spasming again. All these are medical emergencies that require urgent treatment. TIA is a, a clinical um, diagnosis. It means stands for transient, transient ischemic attack. So that's an episode where the brain isn't working, but people recover. So it's a neurologic deficit that lasts less than 24 hours. Um, it's made clinically. A lot of the patients who have had TIAs end up on MRI scan actually having small strokes and just recover quickly. But it's a, a warning sign for a full-blown stroke to occur. Classically, TIAs are from extracranial carotid narrowing, so the blood vessel in your neck gets narrowed down, and the plaque can flick off and go up to the brain and cause hand function uh, to be deteriorated for a short period of time and then resolves. But things, symptoms like that shouldn't be ignored because that could be a precursor to something much more serious.